Yo, yo, what is happening? We are in Manchester, and there's a reason why we've got the represent on today. It's because we're doing some photography in and around Manchester on this beautiful February evening uh, with my boy George. Here we go, it's gonna be good, and yeah, gonna be shooting some photography today, some videos as well for represent, and let's see how we get on. So anywhere you go really you can find a pretty good location to shoot in. I mean we were lucky enough to be shooting in Manchester uh, which has got loads of great locations. There's so much like construction and development going on in Manchester at the moment so it looks proper cool and I was trying to capture some of that that you could see on the train in that uh, opening video that I made uh, which I think looked pretty sick. <laughs> I, I had an idea which I'd planned, which was to shoot on a road that had the Deansgate Towers in the backdrop, but to be honest, I, we just couldn't find the road um, that I had in mind. Luckily, my friend who I was with, who was there in Manchester for the week, had a friend who he was there with, who knew about this spot. So here's me just taking some photos, and me and my friend George, working together to get some cool shots and there's me running over as well to get a shot of both of us so it's a car park it's the top floor of a car park right near Dean's Gate so we went over checked it out uh, got the lift up to the top and oh my god we were blown away it was such a sick location with the uh, it was perfect we had the sun setting Caused a bit of issues with reflections in the buildings um, when editing and obviously the sky was quite blown out as well in some of the shots so we had to try a few different exposures um, and yeah we just we just planned to I was using the Canon R6 with the 70-200 lens on to get some nice compression and nice background with the towers and um, our plan was to just shoot some of this represent clothing and get some pretty sick photos to be fair.
here I am editing a photo in Lightroom. Uh, so we just started by doing some basic adjustments and adjusting the curves to see what looked best really. So working on the background first before working on the main subject. Some more basic adjustments, as you can see, a bit of clarity. And then we head over to the RGB curves, uh, trying to get some of those warm colours from the sun, some of the blues from the buildings. And then we go and draw a mask around our subject so that we can isolate that when editing. Adjust that, make it a bit brighter, make it pop a little bit more, a bit more detail, get the blue colours right, a bit more clarity, final adjustments. And there we go. And here's a few more edited photos of the day to have a look through. Thank you. 